How's it going guys? Horizon Cars and Coffee update for Foot 2005 has just been fully announced. We know all of the new cars, the new JDM car pack, the evolving world location and much more. We're going to talk about all that right now, right here. Let's get straight to it. You can download this update starting tomorrow, which is Wednesday, while the Festival Players activities won't begin till Thursday. So this update comes out quite soon after this video's release. This update gives us nine cars in total, four of which are in a new JDM car pack, an evolving world location, which is a coffee shop, including car park spaces, a photo booth, and much more. We have a new outfit, new collectibles, new event lab props, new body kits, and new badges. Let's first touch on the festival playlist where five of the new cars are located. So for the full series, for 80 points, you can get the first new car, the Aston Martin Vanquish from 2017. That is the first of five cars that are going to be within the festival playlist. List. For 160 points, you can get the Ford Mustang. Let's move on to the first week. There is one new car per week from now on. So the first week, which is summer, has a second new car for 20 points, the Lamborghini Aventador Ultima from 2021, and the Ferrari Dino for 40 points. I believe the Lamborghini Aventador was very high up on the top voted cars, so no surprise to see a Lamborghini Aventador variant come to the game. That is the second new car. The Forza Lodge Shop for that first week has the Ferrari 250 Testarossa, Pagani Zonda, a sleepy and Moat, orange pinata head and orange pinata outfit. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn. For 20 points, you can get the third new car, the Volkswagen SP2 from 1976. I've got a bit of gameplay of that. I'll roll it in a second so you can hear it and see it. For 40 points on that second week, you can get the Emery's 356C. And in the Forza Lunch shop for that second week, you can get the Koenigsegg Regera, the Porsche 918 Spider, the Donut Media Pop-Up Headlights Car Horn, Donut Media Black Hoodie, and Donut Media White Relaxed Tea. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. Second week, sorry. The third week, which is winter. For 20 points, you can get the fourth new car of the month, the Mazda MX-5 RF. And then for 40 points, you can get the Subaru BRZ. I believe I've got a bit of gameplay of the Mazda MX-5. I'll play that now. The Forza Lunch Shop for that third week has the Bugatti Veyron, the Ferrari F12 TDF, a relaxed emote, sombrero hat, and a Mexican suit. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth and final week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the fifth new car of the month, this Volkswagen Thing. Very interesting car, very bizarre looking. It's going to be cool to add to the game. That is the fifth and final new car within the festival playlist. For 40 points on that fourth week, you can get the Lancia 037. The Forza Don Shop for that last week has the Ferrari 250 California, the Italian Design Zero Uno, Donut Media Horn, Donut Media Yellow Jumper, and Donut Media Purple Relaxed Tea. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that fourth and final week. That's the festival playlist completed. Now let's see where the rest of the new cars are. Now let's talk about the car pack. As I mentioned earlier, it is a JDM Jewels car pack and it has a total of four cars. Now I'm giving away some codes for this car pack. If you want a chance to win one, it is Xbox only. Make sure to comment your game attack and make sure you're subscribed and I'll pick five random people to win a code. As you can see on screen, the car pack contains the following. The 1991 Toyota Serra. The 1997 Mitsubishi Montero, the 1997 Nissan Stagia RS4V, and the 1993 Autozam AZ1. It will cost you either five dollars, five euros, or four pounds if you buy it yourself. I have some quick gameplay of the Autozam AZ1. Roll it. And some great news about the 1997 Nissan Stadia is it includes an R34 front bumper body kit. You can do this in real life. When I first saw that this car was going to come to the game, I hoped that it would have an RS4 front end 
bumper body kit available and it does as you can see on screen that's an amazing touch for this car pack as i said i'm giving something away so get commenting those are the final four new cars for this update Now let's touch on the new Evolving World location, which I think they have done a fantastic job on. Let's take a look. Located west of the Autodromo at La Selva, as you can see right here on screen, the copy shop features a photo booth, three ramps around the location, and different parking spots marked on the ground. At night time, it's festival lighting activates. The coffee shop will appear on the map for the entirety of this series. Now, as we can see, some B-roll footage on screen right now of the location, and it looks great. We can see it's located here on the map, and we can see a bunch of different activities around the coffee shop. The coffee shop's just kind of a little thing in the middle, and they focused more on different features, such as the fact that it's kind of a car park. I did mention this in my previous video that I really hope that they would follow the car and coffee sort of car meat style theme with this location and they have they've got car parking spots that i presume they're expecting people to come and meet in this area and show off their cars it's exactly what we wanted it's in this very cool spiral pattern absolutely brilliant there's a photo booth in the middle as well as you can see which is i think in the coffee shop where it's got lighting set up perfectly so you can take photos of your car there is kind of another what looks like a photo location sort of next to the actual circle bit and there's a few others as well dotted around the area so it looks like a really cool area this is the type of thing that i think should be permanent in the game this is what horizon's all about a nice kami location that looks really cool really photogenic they've done a smashing job and we can see some of the nighttime lighting activities that will be active during the night, obviously. So, yeah, let's all get to this uh, new evolving world location while it's on the map, meet up, and have some car meets. Oh, yes. There's a new coffee cup collectible that's also related to this new location. It can be found in week three around the Horizon Cars and Coffee shop at the western end of the highway. If you smash it, the coffee cup will spill the beans. So, that is where the collectible is located at week three. There's a new accolade as we would have expected for collecting all of the new cars within the festival playlist not the car pack cars we also have two new badges one of which is unlocked by taking a photo of the new lamborghini aventador at the horizon cars and coffee shop and the other one is to just simply earn the 2017 aston martin vanquish zagato coupe during the horizon cars and coffee now what's important about both of these is after this series ends you will not be able to do these because the location will not exist. So these are two badges that you'll, if you're a collector, you'll want to get these now as you can't if the series ends. There's also a new coffee cup outfit which you will be able to unlock during week one for the photo challenge, hashtag city skyline. You can see photos of the outfit here. And to top off the update, there are some new Event Lab props. They seem to be adding Event Lab props in pretty much every update nowadays, which can't really complain at that, can we? Um, these are all cars and coffee related. It seems like quite a lot of the things that you'll see scattered around the actual new Evolving World location will now be translated over to Event Lab props so you can build your own. Absolutely brilliant. I think they've done a pretty good job with this update. There's not a massive amount of stuff, like there kind of only is the props, a few cosmetics, the evolving world location and some cars that's pretty much it but it's a pretty good update the cars are really good and the location is really good and it's kind of what horizon's all about so i'm not complaining what's also really cool is the live stream in which this forza horizon 5 update was announced was actually hosted at caffeine and machine now caffeine machine is one of the uk's most known sort of coffee shop car meet locations i would say it's definitely up there i was actually there a couple of weeks ago for a whole week straight really cool and that is where playground games went to host their live stream which i thought was a really cool touch and i did mention in my previous video that i hope this update is some kind of theme and relevance to caffeine and machine because that's what we need in horizon 5 and voila that's kind of what we got so brilliant the next update for horizon 5 is going to be called high performance dailies we're going to touch more on that closer to when that's going to release sounds like it's pretty cool off the bat i'm sure it'll have some new high performance cars and maybe some other things related to that theme we'll touch on that closer to the time thank you very much for watching guys that is this full update announced i will see you all later